The 2023 Australian International Air Show's wowed record crowds of more than 200,000 over the weekend at Melbourne's Avalon Airport. Among the program's highlights, displays from the RAAF Roulette Aerobatics team, the C-17A Globemaster, there was an F-18, F Super Hornet, the South Koreans, the Americans, all sorts of people were there. And many ticket holders, if they could get through the tough track, they got to catch a glimpse of the future too with the world's first flying hybrid electric police car. One of the other highlights was a, a flying police car, Justin. That's right. I mean, this is amazing. A real look into the, the future, isn't it? Yes, yeah, right. The electric, the electric vehicles are really getting a run. Um, it's just amazing. We had the fastest car in the world as well. Um, but the flying police car was certainly a hit with the kids. I mean, the Victorian police had a great presence here, obviously recruiting, um, as did the Air Force. But there's some great technology coming out. And in 10 years, things will have totally changed. You know, there'll be not necessarily all the military jets will be electric, I don't think, but certainly there'll be a lot of smaller craft getting around electric and being a lot more energy efficient, which is obviously where everyone is heading. Um, but for now, my favourite yeah. really was the loud stuff. You know, like the, the F-18, yeah. we just closed the show with the Raptor from the United States, the Black Eagles, um, you know, the F-35s that Australia owns, you know, just having other military jets from around the world come, that's what I find sexy. And to be honest, that's what the crowd really likes. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. And maybe in three years' time, maybe not three years' time, maybe in about five, ten years' time, everyone can be getting flying cars out to the air show instead of getting in that traffic. <laughs>